Okay, so now we have a much closer view of this nails. You can see this one is probably the largest one. I would say this one's the next biggest, sort of large, large, medium, medium and small. And you can see they're waking up a little bit. And when they wake up, if I can see if I can get them to be a little bit more active, you can see they've got these little structures coming out. See those? Little antennae. So they actually have two sets of antennae. I don't know if you can see there's another set sort of down below. And maybe I can encourage them to come out a little bit more. And what you want to do right now is here, let's see. Let's see if it has any interest in this cotton ball. What you want to do is describe the color. What, what color do they look? They have stripes on their shells, right? They, the shells swirl in a certain direction. You may notice that some of the shells have a little lip right at the very edge, whereas these younger snails, try not to move it too, too much, don't have quite as much of a lip at the edge. So you want to make all kinds of notes like that about them, right? Uh, that's all in this page 10, number one. And then number two is saying make a note of color, the texture. I'm actually just reading from page 10 right now. It says the shell can indicate the general health and age. As the snail grows, it keeps adding to its shell. If the front edge of the shell forms a continuous line and is smooth, that means it is still growing. It's not a fully grown snail then. Whereas if the, let's see, then if there is an upward curl at the front edge of the shell, it indicates that the snail is fully grown. So we're looking at these snails. And I would say, I'm gonna bring this camera just a little bit closer that you can see them just a little bit more clearly. Stay with me, I know it's herky-jerky. So like this snail here, if I run my finger along the edge of it, A, it doesn't like it, but B, uh, it actually makes a nice straight, there's no lip at the edge of the shell here. So that tells me the edge of this shell, this, this snail is still growing. This is sort of the medium, well, that's maybe the large snail. This snail, this is one of the medium-sized snails, it also has no lip at the edge of its shell. This snail, the little baby one here, it actually feels like it does have kind of a lip at the edge of its shell. I don't know if you guys can see that at all. But it almost curls up at the edge. So this one, to me, it might be getting close to mature, even though it's so tiny. And then this one, there's definitely a lip at the edge of this shell. Oops, but you guys can't see that. This one has a lip at the edge of it. And this is sort of the medium-large sized one. Ooh, and now you can sort of see the tentacles on this guy. That's pretty nice, huh? Oop. In case you're wondering, the two tentacles, the larger ones up top here, those are for their, I need to fix my camera here really quick. Oops, here. Getting too close, right? These tentacles at the top, those are for their eyes. The ones that are underneath, I think, I believe, are supposed to be more for smelling and sensing. And now you can see sometimes the snails will check each other out and climb all over each other, right? So you could say that like three of these snails are probably not fully grown and one of them looks like it's close to being fully grown, that smallest one there. And then it also says in number three on page 10, draw an, a sizable outline of your snail's shell, foot, and head. So for number three, 
you just take pick a snail, pick all the snails if you want, and just sort of sketch in a little drawing of what you think the snails look like. All right? And I'll leave this video on. They're being more active now, which makes them a little bit more exciting. Let's see if I can get close again. So you, if you want to draw a nice, a lot of detail on your snail, you can do that too. That. Watch that one's crawling away. Oh, let me see, there's a little tail at the end. Pretty curious little snails right now. Okay.